Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel and today I thought we would continue how to script a cafe the refreshed version so let's just get right on to the video. So today we're going to be doing a basic rank script because what I like to do when I'm scripting these kind of games like hotels or cafes i like to start with the basics like you know getting the um scripting done so last part we did the rank door so if you guys have that done then you guys can move on to this part or completely do it out of order i don't care but today we're going to do the rank script so the rank leaderboard so we have to get the leaderboard set up so the first thing that we want to do when we're getting the rank leaderboard set up is we want to locate our server script service so in server script service, you're going to insert a script, okay? And you can name it whatever you want, but I'm going to name it rank leaderboard. Okay. So now when you open this up, you want to start by getting a function. So game.players, no, not game.parent. So added connect function, oops, my caps lock is on, player. Okay, so now we're connecting, so when a player joins the game, we're connecting to a function and the, the value here we put as player so we can define that it's a player. Now, I should bring this up a little bit just so that you guys can see it. Um, I have no idea. Oh, because I did. It's not Windows button plus. Okay. Okay, so that should be good enough. So then now what we want to do is we want to define the leader stats, the local leader stats equals instance dot new. And we'll name this as an int value. And then we can do this as leader stats dot name equals leader stats and then we want to input the value so leader stats dot value it's always going to equal zero now we defined where our leader stats are going to go so now we're going to do local rank equals instance dot new string value so the reason why we use a string value is because that's how we can input words into a value so then we want to do rank dot oops rank dot name equals rank now the we're, we're going to do the rank dot value so now first we want to get the player and we want to get their role in a group so get role in group. So this will get the name like chairman, um, vice versa, guest, customer, whatever you have. And you just want to get your um, your ID. So basically the ID would kind of be like HTTPS, um, www.roblox.com slash groups slash one two three four slash group so these string of numbers right here will be your your id so let me just grab my id for my group and then so once you have this in here i'm gonna comments and change this to your group ID. Now we want to do leader stats dot parent equals player and then rank dot parent equals leader stats. Now that we've defined the rank as a string value, we named it rank, we got the value and so and we changed the value to its role name. We're putting the leader stats in, in the player, the parent as player, and then the rank goes inside the leader stats. Now, when you join the game, you should see the leader stats will work.
and there you go. You have your leader stats and they are working. Um, it says right here, my display name, and it says my rank, which is chairman. Um, so that's basically how you do that. Um, and this is really easy. You can also integrate the system with a overhead rank GUI, which I think we'll get into the next part on part three before we actually start coding the flavor machines and all of those, just like the old one so thank you guys so much for watching i know this was like a short video but this was your basic rank script if you guys have any issues with the script please let me know but as always the, the script will be in the link in the description so you guys can copy and paste it um but anyways thank you guys so much for watching um and i'll see you guys in the next video tomorrow bye now oh.